Uh, Mr. Ambassador, I want to ask you in the brief or remaining time we have to talk a little bit about about Poland, um, not in in the terms of, of its response to the Ukraine war, which, as you say, has been extraordinary and as one praise from around the world, but in terms of some of the issues that we uh, in America, uh, our, our diplomats, State Department, uh, was focused on before the war, specifically issues involving the rule of law, uh, involving freedom of the media, uh, human rights issues in Poland. Where do those stand? Have you seen from President Duda and others in Poland significant changes uh, in those areas that were causing concern before so that you're, you're less troubled? So that's a great question, David. And so um, where does democracy and the economy and values um, rank when we have this security crisis? And, you know, it's a little bit like dialectical behavioral theory. Several things can be true at the same time. The, and those things are the United States stands four square with Poland on its security. And the United States stands four square with Poland on democracy and values. And we've been clear with the polls that as we bring in soldiers and armaments, we are not minimizing our focus on democracy and values. And we are, I am pleased to report that in the 10 weeks that I've been here as ambassador, we have gotten the television licenses for Discovery TVN that we were seeking, that we have gotten the president to veto a law that would have taken such licenses and affected the freedom of the press, a veto of the education bill, and other steps that we would consider to be, um, you know, stopping the democratic backsliding that we were worried about. And we have been very clear that there is an interdependence between security and democracy and values and the economy. And as the polls have done that, I have done all I can, David, to bring in business to the country. I was pleased to host the, the CEO of Google um, last week here at the, embassy, at the embassy, Sundar Pichai, who announced 38 million here and a number of other initiatives by Google to address this crisis as it pertains to the business dimension and, and misinformation and disinformation and the like, and other companies um, are doing important work as well, State Street um, and other leading Microsoft, leading American companies that we are working closely with to mesh in to the response. But nothing is being minimized as we maximize the security. To the contrary, I think I can report to you, David, a strategic realignment with the polls in the sense that out of this crisis, we are producing results leveraging the work together we're doing with the Polish government on the crisis, and that's benefiting everyone. And I thought it was beautiful and correct when President Biden was here in Poland last week, when he talked about democracy, he said that everyone needs to work on it. He talked about the work that the Poles need to do, and he talked about January 6th, the work that the Americans need to do. I thought that was an honest and fair way of engaging and consulting with the polls on these important issues.